The problem is you won't obey me. The Bible says you should obey me and you refuse. You are a failure as a wife, a Christian, and a mother. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body and is himself its savior. Let a woman learn in silence with all submissiveness. I permit no woman to teach or have authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain silent. Listen, the fact that domestic violence occurs in church communities is well established. 22% of domestic violence abusers go to church. And for clarity, I'm not saying that religion causes abuse, and I'm not saying Christianity is bad. I'm hosting a webinar called Isn't Sex My Right? Why Sexual Coercion is Abuse. And I have lined up an amazing panel. One of the panelists is a pastor. And so let's answer this great question. Why would a pastor be involved in a discussion about domestic violence and sexual coercion? If the only thing you're hearing from your church is that you should stay, perhaps Pastor Jeremy has a different perspective. Perhaps you need to hear different interpretations of those same Bible passages. Perhaps you need to hear a different take, a different opinion. There are tons of men and women who face abuse in the name of God. And for this reason, I can't imagine having this webinar and discussing this topic without a pastor.